Hi, my name is Josiah Holbrook, and this is my service learning presentation. I decided to do um, my service learning with an organization that my church, Sandusky Avenue Christian Church, partners up with. Um, the organization is Hands and Feet. So pretty much what Hands and Feet is, is it's um, this charity. Um, it's an organization in Tulsa that helps people in need, whether you're homeless, whether you're running out of food like we're doing in COVID, like um, whether you don't have enough money, they pretty much just help people in need. Once I found out that you had to do service learning for this class, I went to my youth pastor and I was just like, uh, do you know any charities or organizations that I, um, I can put my hours in to work with? Um, and he was just like, well, you're in luck, Josiah, because our church is actually working with the organization hands and feet this week, um, this next couple of weeks, because the because of COVID, we um, there were a lot of people that were out of jobs, and um, so they didn't have money to pay for groceries or essentials. So um, our church was working, was one of the churches around Tulsa that was working with the organization Hands and Feet. <clears throat> so um, pretty much what we did is we, um, we have a big gymnasium and what we did is we got food from all around Tulsa, um, groceries and um, and pantries around Tulsa, um, places that were giving out extra food. We brought all of it to our gymnasium and we organized it. Um, one of the TCC outcomes that I really got a hold of was communication skills, uh, mostly because my church, after we have our service, we lend our worship center um, to um, a Hispanic church who um, whose church burned down so we lent out our worship center so the Hispanic community also helped us with um, the hands and feet um, pantry stuff so my youth pastor put me in charge of all like the vegetables and stuff um, the produce he put me in charge of the produce <clears throat> so pretty much I was working with a bunch of Hispanics and we didn't speak the same language I mean, they knew a little bit of English, but not a lot. So I had to learn how to communicate and like dis, um, decipher what they were telling me and stuff. I learned a bit, a little bit of Spanish, not a lot. But yeah, I pretty much just communicated to them where everything went. It was, it was a challenge, but I definitely got through it. It was interesting. And another thing that I learned was social responsibility, I'm pretty sure. Um, cause they were from different backgrounds and, uh, we didn't have much in common. So I just Googled some stuff like, yeah, yeah, I Googled, I Googled translated a lot of stuff. Overcoming challenges that I faced besides the, um, communicating with the Hispanic, um, community, the Hispanic people that we were working with, um, uh, a challenge that I had to do is they forgot the potatoes at one of the food pantries. So I had to drive clear across Tulsa to um, get them. That wasn't fun, but I was just like, yeah, I'll do it anyways. My view on being able to make a difference in the community, um, I'm just happy that I could help. I mean, every little bit counts, as I said before. And if I can do my part, then I know that that's a little bit going towards the betterment of the community. And during the COVID crisis, I mean, we're still in it kind of, but during like the deep, well, I'm not going to say that. Well, during the, the depths of the, the worst parts of the COVID crisis and quarantine, a lot of people were in need and I'm just glad I could do my part if that makes sense. I also got this little thingy, Pursuit 222. They handed these out. Um, because we had coffee in the morning. So this is a little souvenir. We had coffee in the morning while we were handing out the groceries. So this is a souvenir. I really like this. I put my protein shakes in it. And yeah, this is my visual presentation. And uh, this is just a thank you for working with us. I also got a t-shirt, but I think I left it in the youth room. Yeah, it's in the youth room. And I also have a picture of the food pantry and everything lined up in the description. It's not in the description. Well, it's all just linked down there. All right, so that's my service learning presentation. I hope it wasn't too choppy. I hope you understood it. I'm bad at talking to cameras, but yeah, thank you so much for listening to it. Um, I hope at all the points, 
and thanks so much for a great class because even though it was online you made it as easy as possible and it was super easy to understand so thank you so much and bye